Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to see how we can do brain tumor detection with Autolytics Hub. So we're basically going to train a YOLO V8 model. I'm going to show you how we can take the data set, connect it, and also how to extract it directly from Autolytics. We can set it up into Autolytics Hub where we can have our data set, our model, we can do the training and everything in there. So we have the whole computer vision training pipeline directly inside the hub. And we're going to see each individual step in just a second. So let's just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. This is the data set that we're going to use. So it's a brain tumor data set where we're going to detect different types of tumors if they're positive and negative. So this is a very useful and important problem that we're trying to solve. So right now we can take a look at the data set structure. You can read a bit about it if you go inside this data sets tab in the Autolytics documentation. We have all these data sets available over here to the left. So we'll have for optic detection, segmentation, post estimation, classification, RNA bounding boxes, and so on. We already have a lot of videos covering it. So definitely check those out as well. For this video here, we're going to do brain tumor detection with just traditional optic detection on medical images, both from MRI scans and also CT scans. So from these scans, it will contain information about brain tumor presence and also location. So we're going to detect that, so both the location and if the brain tumor is positive or negative. For data set structure, we can see that we have a training set of almost 900 images with corresponding annotations that you can use directly. If you want to try to solve this problem, if you want to use it for a specific application and project that you're trying to do, you can use the data set in here as well. We have a test set here with over 200 images. Again, we have all the annotations directly. This is the data set YAML file that we need to specify when we're using the data set from Autolytics. We don't have to take care of that. The only thing that we need to specify is the paths. So for our path to our data set root directory, our training data set, validation data set, and also our test data set. Then we need to specify the different classes that we have. For this data set, we only have two classes, which is either positive or negative. So this is the type or the class for the brain tumor that we're going to detect. We also have a download from a URL, which basically just downloads the zip file with all the data inside the data set. So this is how you can use it. You just need to specify the path to the YAML file. It's going to do all of that for you in the command line, in Python and so on. But I'm going to show you how we can set up the whole computer vision training pipeline with the Autolytics hub. So we don't need to write any code at all. We only need to click a few times and we have the data set and model and we're training on it. Once our model is done training, we can deploy it either with the Autolytics inference API export the model and use it in our own application and projects. So right now, let's just jump straight into the Autolytics Hub. If you guys are not familiar with it, we have tons of videos on the Autolytics channel. So definitely go check those out. We have the home, we have data sets, projects, models, integrations. We cover all of that as well. But right now, we're going to see how we can solve this brain tumor data set and train YOLV8 models and Autolytics models on this specific data set. So right now, let's just go inside the data sets and we already have the data set in here as some of the examples. We have the two classes and 1100 images. We also have tons of other data sets in here that you can test out. They will be here directly. You can also upload your own data set. We have videos for that. Let's now go inside the brain tumor data set. We have all the annotations. We get these thumbnail images where we have the MRI scans or the CT scans with the corresponding annotations. So we have two classes, kind of like the same amount of classes that we have. So the class distribution is fairly nice and even. We have negative and we have positive. We both have our train validation. We don't have anything in the test set, as you remember from the data YAML file. We can get an overview here with our class distribution and also our class split. But more important, we can go in and take a look at the images and see some examples. So these are some of the positive brain tumor examples. If we scroll a bit further down, we can now see that we have some negative examples. We both want to detect positive, negative, and get the location of the tumor in the brain. So it's basically just optic detection that we're doing on top of the data set. And now we want to fine tune a model for being able to solve this problem, finding tumors and localizing them in these scans. So we have the data set, we can go ahead, train model. We don't have to do any code, only a few clicks. And we're now training a YOLO V8 model. Right now, let's just go with a small model. We can get some advanced model configuration with the number of epochs, patient, um, image size and so on that we want to use. Let's just go with default ones. So now we can just hit continue here and it should redirect us to the training. We have the option for using the Autolytics Cloud. No code at all. We just need to hit start training and it will use the cloud 
tool and feature from Autolytics inside the hub. We also have Google Colab Notebook if you just want to have a few lines of code or bring your own agent. If you want to train locally, you can always upload the models later on. So right now we just need to specify a number of epochs. Let's just go for 30 epochs. Standard instance that we're going to choose NVIDIA T4, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And right now I'm just going to use the Autolytics hub account and we can start the training. We also have the option for time training so basically just train for a certain amount of time so that could be like one hour two hours but i'd like to just specify the number of epochs so right now let's go for 30 epochs let's start the training we don't have to do any code take the data set take the model hit train and we're good to go right now it's just going to prepare the cloud instance might just take a few minutes after that it's going to start the training it will lock the metrics directly in here live in some of the other videos, we go over each individual step, what all the metrics mean, the chart preview, how to deploy the models and so on. So definitely check those out. We test out on a bunch of different data sets, but every single feature inside Autolytics is covered in other videos. So a model has now started training. We can see all the metrics live, epoch per epoch, both the precision, recall, mean errors position, and those metrics. If we scroll a bit further down, we can also see the losses data set overview and so on. After that, as uh, the train, we can go inside the chart, see the train and validation graphs as well. But it's pretty cool that we can track our metrics live and we want our mean error positions and precision recall to go up over time and converge at the end. And then we want our losses to decrease over time. So let's just let it run here for 30 epochs and let's get back and take a look at the results. So our model is not done training for 30 epochs. We probably have been trained for 10, 20 epochs more, but we can see pretty nice convergence mean error positions are increasing over time and also the precision recall we have pretty good recall here so that's very good for this specific use case we don't really want to miss any detections we can also see the model training metrics and also the validation so these are losses which should be decreasing over time and also has kind of like converged here at the end so models now done training we could also use a larger model right now we're just training on the yolo v8 nano model we could have used small medium and got better results so it's basically like a trade-off between accuracy and speed which is the model that we want to use right now we can go and take a look at the preview we can set the confidence score in section over union threshold we can take a look at some of the test images that we have we can also connect the camera or upload our own images this is just to verify how does your model perform and here we see we get the output out we get a positive detection with 73.3% confidence so this is actually like pretty accurate let's take a look at one of the other ones so right now it's just doing inference taking the model processing it throwing it through right now we can see that we get a negative detection and also positive so these are the confidence scores for those two detections and if we just take a look at one more we should be able to get some more detections so right now it's positive there we go with fairly high confidence as well you can always play around with the confidence score here like have it higher and also lower depending on if you want to be more certain in your prediction let's take a look at the last result here we should get some detections up here at the top there we go and it is a positive brain tumor so we pretty much solved this problem here we can also connect the camera to it directly if you want to see how it works on like real live streams but might not be suitable for this type of problem once we have a model trained, we have validated, now we have evaluated that it works as it should. We could probably train for more epochs and also test out a larger model. You can do all of that, iterate very fast inside the Autolytics hub, train the model, it just takes a few minutes. You can retrain another one, fine tune the parameters, fine tune the data set, have different variations of the data set, test out various models and sizes. Right now we can also go and deploy it. We have videos for pretty much all of it covering it, how you can deploy it with the Autolytics Cloud API, and you just get an API, you send the request, get the response back with the prediction, so you can use it in your own applications and projects. So this is a pretty cool project and also very useful, could have a huge impact if we can just throw like a bunch of images through this AI model being able to detect brain tumors. Thanks a lot for watching this video here, guys. I hope you have learned a ton. Definitely check out the Autolytics Hub. You saw how easy it is to set up a whole computer vision pipeline. You can just do it in a few minutes. And then I just hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.